hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I'm gonna apologize up front. You're, I have a cough, but I wanna get this done. I wanna show you how to make this. Um, so anyway, before we get started, if you can subscribe, if you haven't, I would totally appreciate all the support. So, all right, we are gonna make just a super simple cake topper. Um, and it didn't even start out as a cake topper. I was doing a project for somebody and so, I don't know, I just wanted to add this on and I thought this is a great way to show you how to quickly assemble something and turn it into um, a little bit more. So anyway, this is what we're making today. Um, just a super, super simple cake topper. So it is, I mean, it could be a photo prop. It could just be something that you hold like this just to take a picture. I mean, it's just so stinking cute. Or you just put it by um, your cake or anything like that like not even in the cake but um just nearby for for pictures and just to show the theme all right a couple things that i want to talk about is um this is just a regular straw that you can get on amazon it's super cute but it's a paper straw so if you're worried about the like how strong it will be i added a little piece of acrylic um acrylic stick inside so i'm going to show you how to do that I like the layers and you can see as I'm twisting, there is no movement at all on this cake topper. Um, it's not flimsy. I used, um, there's just a couple layers so you can kind of see right there. But what's important is this back layer is completely full. It's blue and you actually don't really see it at all here because this, um, this teacup is by itself. So I'm going to show you all of that. All right, so some things that you're going to need today. I am using Barely Art Glue for all my fine details. I'm using Beacon to make sure that my acrylic stick um, stays put inside my straw. And then we've got some foam tape. Um, I, you know, this is, it's cute. And I wish I could, I wish you could really see in person, but it, it makes such a difference that it's layered and that it has the dimension, the height to it. So you could layer it and not have any foam squares and it's still gonna look very flat. So, all right, let's get started. I'm gonna put this aside up here so you can see it. And just to show you, um, I'm gonna do the tutorial next on this one. This is the little girl that's having the birthday party. This is Olivia who's turning five. So if you can see the reason why I use these colors is that she's wearing this dress on her birthday and so I kept all the colors the same like I kept the yellow and the pink in her top instead of the black background for the teacup I have it in blue and then uh, this is just one of my favorite parts is her little bracelet right here so this will be a separate tutorial but it will all be on my on my website so that you can access it so that you can make your own personalized you know birthday party so okay let's get out all the pieces so here's my teacup um i just kept with the same colors and this is oops this is swiss dots from basil so you can see the little the little dots on here you don't even see it at all on this piece but I kept it because I wanted it to match her dress and kind of keep the same theme without it being, um, just to keep it all connected. So that's, that's why that's there. So, all right, let's move all these little pieces over. And this teacup, so I normally would love to layer this teacup because I wanna layer as much as I can, but there are some very thin pieces to this teacup that I couldn't layer. So that's why I kept it flat. So if um, if you see on the teacup, all these pieces are gonna lay flat because it's too hard to layer these thin pieces. So I'm gonna move that over. Let me get all the pieces over. And I know this whole thing is so stinking cute. Uh oh, I hope I didn't lose any pieces in the meantime. Um, let me see if it's on my... Oh no, here it is. Ah! It's like if you don't assemble right away, the chances are you're gonna lose some pieces. I mean, I have some small pieces here. Okay, first up. 
Let's do the name really quickly. Um, and I'm going to show you the design space portion so that you can get the measurements correctly. But first thing is, look at how beautiful this font is. So it's from Creative Fabrica. I just love it. First of all, it's glitter cardstock and look, it's still cut really, really nicely. So super thin. I'm going to get my Barely Art glue out. And I like to hold it like this. And then pretty much I want to make sure that my glue gets on the edges because uh, what I've noticed with Barely Art Glue is it only takes a few seconds for it to all adhere. So I'm going to show you my little trick. Um, so here is, it comes out so nice and thin. I love it. And um, as you know, I'm on their design team. And so they have like a fun, I mean, first of all, if you are a crafter and you want to join a design team, this is a great first design team. Now, obviously it's not my first. Um, I have been on it since design team two and I'm now on design team seven. So it's a lot of fun for me. And I love just meeting everybody and, and the fun things that they do. So they, they run these like, um, community projects, right? And so they have a contest and my team won two seasons ago. And so we got to design a glue bottle and it is on sale right now. So if you wanted to get it, it's got like a rainbow, um, a pastel rainbow um, design on the glue and it has the useless crafter on there. So if you want to get it, Use my code, the useless crafter, for 10% off. Um, I bought seven bottles <laughs> that I will only be using one. They're sending me one, so I'm going to get eight bottles. <coughs> so, what I was saying is, it only takes a couple seconds for this to adhere. So, I like to press down, make sure that my glue is sticking to the bottom piece, and you're just going to have a perfect glued little piece. Um, I need to replace my blade. It didn't cut cleanly yesterday. Okay, so there you have it. We have two little dots that we need to add, and I have it right here. So I like to use this little guy right here. It's the quick stick from We Are Beverly Keepers. I apologize. I'm like, so I have been fighting this cold for like 10 days now. Um, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to pick up my... This is how small that little dot is. It's the dot over the eye. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down here onto the paper on both both little dots. I, and I believe it's called the tittle, right? So I'm gonna put this down. And you can see, it's so small, you can't even see it right now. All right, I'm gonna put the other piece down. All right, so that first layer is so thin that I don't layer it, right? Like I'm not gonna put foam tape or foam squares, but I will on this white one. So let's put that down. And I just have a few spots. I wanna do it where my foam squares are not gonna show through. So I have it in three different places. And I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge. The tails are not gonna get it, okay? The tail on the pink will get it because it's it's thicker, okay? With adhesive, any kind of adhesive, um, you wanna push down on it to make sure that it's, you're activating the adhesiveness. You want it to stick really, um, you know, every square inch is gonna stick to the white. And then that way when I peel this off, every square inch is gonna then touch the, um, the pink or the salmon <laughs> all right here we go and I cannot wait so I have been testing out these foam squares these are not yet available um, I cannot wait until this company releases their foams their foam squares because if you notice I peeled it off with my fingers and um, oh to, to make the comparison when I'm using the Dollar Tree 
the whole foam tape wants to come off with it as I'm peeling it off and this one stays put um, so I absolutely love the stickiness of this foam tape that is coming to you soon I can't wait <laughs> okay here we go uh, we've got that down I'm not going to put the this is my this is my most bottom layer this the the, um, the straw is going to go right here so I'm going to show you that in a little bit but let's assemble all our pieces right now so this is ready to go let's do our teacup um, and this is really really thin so again I'm just gonna use my little holder thingy now that first one, all my pieces were going on, on white. So the glue definitely, and the, the glue dries clear, but I do like to have a piece of scrap nearby just to like pick up the excess, even though there's hardly, I mean, you see how thin that is, but um, it's on blue, so I do like to do that. But you can see I got a little bit of glue right there I'm just gonna take my thumb, dab it off, and then I'll show you later. I had the same issue on this original one and you can't see the glue at all. Okay, it does dry clear, so. This little teacup is so cute. It's in design space. It's actually, um, the style was kawaii. So it had the little, you know, that, that style has the, the big old round eyes and, um, and the face right here and I got rid of it. So I wanted it to be more of like a teacup for a tea party. So that's down. This little tea bag, so stinking cute. All right, flip it over, put a little bit of glue down. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing with this little heart right here. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down here and then pick up this little pink heart right here. Look how small that is. Okay, and then here is the drink. And you see how it's curling up? Just make sure that you press down so that the glue has time to stick and dry. And that's all it needs and it's not gonna curl up. It's what I love about Barely Art Glue. Okay, then we just have the little handle and then we're done with the teacup. So my little teacup is done. I'm gonna do the five. Um, oh, I'm missing, I'm missing the white layer of the five. Let me see if I have it on my, I knew it. A piece of course had to come undone. All right, I'm not gonna do the five because I do want that white piece right here. I think that this looks weird. It doesn't pop enough. So just want to show you, this is how that five is on there. Okay, so we won't put the five. Ah, I'm always losing pieces. Okay, <coughs> we've got almost everything, so it's okay. Let me grab an acrylic stick. Okay, 
So what I would do is, this is just a regular acrylic stick. Um, I got this from Ashley Falco. So you can go on her website. Um, and so you see, I'm just gonna stick it in. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open this up. This is Beacon Glue. I tried it with um, with the hot glue gun and it didn't it didn't really work. So I'm gonna stick my Beacon Glue in here. And then I'm gonna stick a little bit on my stick here. And then because the acrylic stick is more of a rectangle, I'm just gonna press down and kind of smush and flatten the straw a little bit. That makes sure that the glue sticks and you just leave it, let it dry. Okay, so here's our pieces. Let's put, we're gonna put the foam tape on here and put this and have this pop up a little bit. So this, this blue layer in the back it's really just for stability. It's to make sure that the straw is in between and it covers everything so it looks nice and neat. Um, and it, like I said, it just gives you stability. So this layer, you actually don't see at all because this is gonna sit on top and this is gonna sit on top too. So, all right, let's put down this layer right here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of foam tape And watch when I pull this up, that the foam square stays on there. This is really, really good sticky foam tape. I can't, I can't, I'm super excited and I'm a little bit worried because I'm running out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, this layer, I'm gonna actually put super thick foam squares. Look at how thick that is in comparison to the one that we've been using, which is this one. And it's because I want it to, I want it to pop out, and I also wanted it to pop out and be able to fit the straw. Oops, sorry, there we go. So there's the straw, there's the foam tape, so you can kind of see the different layers. So on this one, we're gonna flip this over. And now we're gonna make it really stable. I'm gonna put one on the edge. <coughs> Sorry, this cough. Ah, it's craziness. Okay. I know my straw, so this I wanna line up. This is kind of straight right here, right? Um, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna turn on my glue gun and I put the straw down. I'm gonna move this over. I want the straw right here and I want it to be straight. So I have it lined up on my grid so that my straw is gonna go straight down that line like that, okay? And then this is gonna go like this. Okay. All right, so let's, um, I should have turned on my glue gun earlier, forgot. <laughs> so let's see. Um, while we're waiting for that, let's get this ready. Just wanna press down on this one. We normally could work on the five, but I lost the white of the five, so we're not gonna put it on this one. But I'm just gonna flip this one over so that you can kind of see it again. I'm gonna look at the edges, no movement at all. It's not flimsy. And this is just, I wanna say it's 80 pound paper. So it's not a lot, but we have enough for like structurally it's sound, right? This whole back layer helps us keep it uh, really stable. So all right, let me put that back down.
And this is a good time to sort of clean up your like cut. I, okay, no, it was clean. I thought I saw a little bit of fuzz. I'm gonna just straighten this out. I mean, look how cute that coffee cup is, or tea cup, I love it. I'm so bummed. Let me see if I can find that white while we're just standing here waiting for the glue gun. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it at all. Okay. <gasps> I almost dropped Olivia, the big, the big piece. That's why I was like, oh no. Okay. <laughs> all right, let me clean this up really quickly and then we'll glue everything down. Okay. So I do like having this grid out here and I do recommend lining things up because if you're straw, gets a little bit wonky it's just gonna look funky so you want to make sure that all this is lined up it's still going um what else can i tell you so this is beacon glue um right now i believe i have a discount on beacon glue so give me just it'll be in the description i'm pretty sure there's a discount on beacon glue there's a discount on the barely art glue and there's a discount on the glitter cardstock from Ground Up Creations. It's a little bit more than it usually is. It's 20% off. So I'm passing along this deal from the workshop to you guys. Um, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> so, okay, let me move this aside. And it's going, it's getting warm. Um, in the meantime, what else can we talk about? Let me pull this up. So this is Olivia. Look at how cute that is, right? Um, I'm going to show you afterwards how to do this, but she's 33 inches and she's so stinking adorable. I absolutely love it. I love the glasses. They're like not sitting flat on her face. So I'm a big fan of the foam tape whenever we can just to give it that layered look. Okay, I'm going to pick this up. Put this down right here. And I'm gonna do this layer first. I wanna make sure it's down and it's straight. And then, I wanna add a little bit of glue right here on the side. So I'm gonna go like this just to make sure that it's this is not going anywhere. Okay. Now that I'm ready for this top piece, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here to make sure that it sticks to the pink piece, okay? And then I'm gonna activate all my foam squares by pushing down on it so that it sticks to the bottom layer. And there you have it. So I've got two. The five makes it, huh? It's so cute. Maybe I'll recut the, the white five. But see how stable that is? Just a couple layers. All right. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys next time.